the water was from the Whetstone Brook overflowed and was coming down Flat Street, heading towards the club. Um, and as it got to the Boys and Girls Club, it came under the doors and into the building. And by the time I left the building, there was a decent amount of water in the building and more coming. And I just got out because there was really nothing I could do to stop it from coming in the building. But the rain just was coming down and you could watch the waters just coming up by the foot, not by the inch. We opened our emergency operations center in the center part of Shrewsbury. We also opened up the shelter down here closer there. We had two shelters open. Once our phone service went out, we had no phone service in our emergency operations center, which doesn't sound like much to other people. You say, well, you have cell phone service. There is no cell phone service in Shrewsbury. Well, the road is closed because uh, major areas of the road have washed out. The river has backed out of its banks and come over Route 5 and running into the businesses in the area. We have Route 5 shut down. Um, we put the incident command system in place. We utilize that here in town. Um, of course, this is uh, much bigger than our routine calls and our day-to-day -day operations. So it has expanded drastically from what we normally do, but has worked just like it's planned to be. Uh, within an hour and a half, two hours, I had 18 inches of water coming through my front yard and under my home. My sister was refused to evacuate, which I couldn't convince her, and neither could the fire department. The brook came out of its banks, uh, flooded these entire areas, washed some of the trailers off. It was actually quite scary, not knowing what was going to happen next. Uh, right now we're going around and doing an assessment of the area to see what's safe and what isn't. Once I made the commitment to stay, I couldn't get out of the park. So if you're asked to go, you better think twice before you say no, you can get stuck like I did. When we come to your door and tell you we think we want you to evacuate, believe us. They say to get, they want you to evacuate, get out. Your property's not worth your life. Everybody says it only happens on TV. Well, it's happened here now, and a lot of people have had an eye-opener. <laughs>